If I hadn't had the opportunity to give it a try without any strings attached, I would have never considered this to be a possible career path for me. And I know that that's what's going on with a lot of other people as well. Hey guys, I'm Iris, welcome to my channel. I'm 25 years old, I'm a software engineer based in Switzerland and today I wanted to film more of a chit chat kind of video and give you a couple insights. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first question I'd like to address is, do you need to be extremely smart to become a software engineer? The short answer is no, absolutely not. I feel like a lot of people shy away from software engineering and computer science in general because they think it's only for smart people and they don't see themselves as someone who would fit in because of that. But to be honest, what does being smart mean anyways? Just because someone has good grades doesn't necessarily mean they are extremely smart. Just like someone who has bad grades is not necessarily dumb. Grades are definitely not a reliable measure to determine someone's intelligence and there are hundreds of scientific studies proving that. If you're interested in the subject and you're willing to learn, that's basically all you need. Now you might ask yourself, but what about maths and all the other difficult lectures? It heavily depends on your university if those lectures and their exams are difficult to pass. In my university, our professor was extremely chill and if you actually took your time to study, the exams were not particularly hard to pass. So for us, maths was never really something to be scared of. But even if you do have difficult lectures at your university, 99% of the other students are going to struggle as well. So it's not going to be just you. Because I guarantee you that most of them are not going to be smarter than you. And if I can do it, you can do it too. My grades in school were never really bad, but they were also not spectacular. And I managed to get my degree. I believe that the media has heavily impacted the way we see software engineers. In basically all the popular movies, the computer science people are portrayed as the shy and nerdy kids who always had good grades but were too insecure to ask somebody out on a date. Naturally, if you're a kid watching these movies, you associate these personality traits with computer scientists and you think to yourself, um, no thank you. To be quite frank, in my whole life, I would have never guessed that I will end up as a software engineer. And to be honest, if you had told me at 16 that I was going to study computer science, I would have started running to another continent because I would have thought there is no way that I am going to live such a boring life. The way I came in contact with programming was actually just a really big coincidence. If I hadn't had the opportunity to give it a try without any strings attached, I would have never considered this to be a possible career path for me. And I know that that's what's going on with a lot of other people as well. So I'm here to tell you, it's actually surprisingly interesting. I always thought that studying computer science is all about being able to build a computer yourself and connecting all those weird hardware parts. I believe that a lot of people, especially girls, shy away from computer science for exactly the same reason. In my university, we were required to learn the fundamentals of how these components communicate with each other, but that's about it. I chose a computer science major with an emphasis on software engineering, so we learned quite a bit about IT security. Yes, they also taught us some basic hacking skills. Each semester we would be working in teams and develop specific applications. We learn about user experience and the design side of apps and websites. And most importantly, we were taught algorithms and data structures. Most people don't know that there's actually a lot of work to be done on the design side as well. And coding is essentially an art. Here are three indicators to find out if software engineering could be a suitable career choice for you. Number one, you like to solve puzzles. Number two, you are creative. Number three, you enjoy working in a team. Because most of the time, that's what it's about. Let's talk a little bit more about the problem solving aspect. When I was a kid, there was a time when I wanted to become a detective and things like this can already be an indicator. It is not important which types of problems you enjoy solving because just like there's a million different ways of problem solving, there are a million different potential applications you could be working on. For example, would you like to implement a method how blind people can interact with their smartphones? 
Do you want to work on a software that is able to land a plane in autopilot if an emergency happens on board? Do you want to use psychological facts to your advantage to manipulate people so that they are more likely to press a specific button? There are thousands of options and you can try out different fields and choose the one you like. Software is needed in all parts of society and you can combine programming with your interest in medicine, electric cars, animal care, food. The possibilities are endless. My favorite part about software engineering is that if you work on a project, you not only improve your coding skills, but you also learn a lot about the domain that software is written for. For example, if I'm working on a project where my team implements some sort of application for a bank, I will also learn a lot about the ins and outs of finances and investments along the way. Because in order to write good software, you must be able to understand the underlying topic. So with each project that you work on, you essentially learn more about the world. Now, how difficult is the actual coding part? Not super duper difficult. There are some basic concepts you need to learn, such as data types, data structures, functions and classes. And then all you have to do is practice. Once you're able to solve small problems, the next step will be to learn different algorithms and learn how to use the right software architecture. But this will take time and especially the architectural aspect is something that you will learn by doing. I hope with this video I was able to shift your expectations a little bit more on the realistic side. Computer science is way more than sticking a couple of hardware parts together and there are endless career opportunities. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.